cockroach in the drink. Block drain. Can we pull him out and rescue him? Here you go, cocky. You're free. Just don't go up my shoe. This is your typical, uh, typical grease blockage. That'll be easy to clear. But first, there's another problem down further, which is a tree blockage. But it's not completely blocked down there, so we'll have a look at that first. This is the boundary shaft. It's rather deep, and at the base of that, I don't know if you can see it, it's got major roots around the 90 bend. And it also looks like there's a little lizard down there. So somehow we're gonna have to try and move him on so we don't hurt him. Down we go. Where the lizard is, we don't know. I think he just jumped in the water. Where is he? Oh, I think he swam away. Did he? Anyway. He'll he'll run off once the engine starts down there. Um, that's full of roots. They're quite a good size. A lot of roots there. There's a lizard. Just there. Right down. We'll see him there. All right, Lizard, you want to jump on? Get out of there. Oh. Get on and I'll pull you up. Jump on the camera and I'll pull you up. All right, we'll have to do it the hard way. I've got a special, uh, a special contraption to pull the lizard out, so we don't hurt him. He's just there. Sorry. The theory is, I'm going to drop this down, this is going to jump in the elevator, and we're going to pull him up. Alright Lizard. Don't be scared. Okay, I got him. No, he's safe though, because he's gone up this line. He must have swum upstream because there's water in there. There he is. 
He's gone inside that crack up there. He's a smart lizard. He's well and truly safe. He'll be inside. Okay, there he is there. That's the lizard. He's gone up the junction to the house and he's sitting where it's safe. So he won't get hurt. That's positioned nicely there. We'll just grab the gurney and cut them away. Now we need the extension for this because it's uh, rather deep. So I'll take this one off. Put the extension on. Down we go. Yeah, we're at the bottom. Perfect. Now we'll just tighten this up under here. Like so. Pressure on. On we go. see it's slightly coming apart at the base on that junction but we're going around the bend and there's a big lip and more roots around there So what we'll do is we'll turn this 90, stick it back down, okay we're facing in now, we'll pull the trigger. Okay, we've opened it up. There's a few up on the roof there, so we have to go from 90 to 120. So we shoot that, so it's going up on the ceiling now. Okay, we got around. Very good. 
Still a few roots there. Okay, we'll have to go in with the reverse and cut them out. There we go, that's the Sydney Water Mains running past there. Let's clear up to there. There's a little bit on the corner which we can get. But we'll uh, put the uh, reverse on and uh, cut those roots out. pressure. It's all right. I'll put it back to its original size. I'll put the uh, reverse cutter on and get those roots. I'll drop it down. closer right up to those roots there turn her on That's looking a bit better. Some loose bits there that we cut away. I'll just tidy them up. All right, that's actually in the main line. I'm gonna pull back and see if we can blast them. Turn that around so that's facing back towards the mains. Okay, we're in the mains there. 
and uh, there's a bit of a crack in the mains but by going down there and shooting backwards we cut out those roots which were sitting in the main line so we done Sydney water a favor there it's coming apart a bit the pipe there but that's not too bad all right that's all clear there now we go clear the gully So for this job, we're going to use the gurney. We're going to use the 90 so we can get up and around the trap. Turn the pressure on. We're in there. Beat it down. Oh, one, two, three. Would you believe four? Here it comes. There we go. Lots of chunks coming through. Oh yeah, bit of gunk in there. Probably gonna have a bit more of a squirt. Just, just getting away. I'll call you back. All right. Mate. All right. Pour a bucket of water down there too. Why? Ah, uh, caramel milk. Beautiful. That's looking good. I might just jet down the line, come out here, make sure it's all clear, and then we'll do a toilet paper flush test. Release pressure. Sounds like they're using the uh, the uh, kitchen now. We'll just clear off that grime on the side. 
Just use normal spray for that. That looks better. Now there's an inspection point here that picks up that side, shoots down there. So we'll just service this down to the shaft and we're done. Use the RS, CRS 38 for that. Make sure if it's working. Yep, she works. Position it that way. And down we go. through there's our nozzle pull it back out all clear and we just flush the toilet see if it's all good okay um, that's all clear yeah. we just need to do a toilet paper flush test oh. so if you can flush the toilets inside with some paper I'll watch to make sure it comes through there yeah you can do that now. Okay. On the count of three. One. Two. Three. You can hear it. Would you believe four? Four it is. Got a bit of a belly in the line. There's the paper. Looking good. All good. Okay. Yeah, that's good. Thank you. Coming through loud and clear. All right, we'll just have a quick look with the camera. Make sure that the uh, the line's all clear up there. There's a bit of grease up there. We might just have to blast that grease out. For this one, we'll use the spinner because it'll just nicely blast that grease out. We don't need to cut any roots. So we'll flip this one in. Flipped her in.
much clearer. Very good.